This is the last coat on these walls on this side. Um, and then you can get one and do your electrics. Lucky me. You just want the uh, sconces up ASAP, don't you? You want the final reveal. Do you not? Yeah, I do Does actually. Not? <laughs> I'm sure they do, I'm sure they do. So perhaps, uh, will that be all right this afternoon, you reckon, then, for me to get on there? I reckon by well, this afternoon you can get on there and get them in. Well, I've got a busy afternoon. Yep, yeah, okay, that's my job. Any other jobs while you're thinking about it? No, I've got my own list to, to do. I've got a day off, have I? Yay! <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the same, would it, unless we popped out of a con sometime. Well, the one we really wanted to go to was closed. Typical yeah. August. Yeah, everyone's on holiday. Found a blue chandelier if you look down to your left. Nah, it's not my cup of tea, but that's <laughs> Very plain, isn't it? It's big. Just so everyone knows, that's 160 euros. So <laughs> really, not a bad price. What do you think of this? I know it's quite simple. I saw that and the I first thing that came to my head was Terry. No, I love the shades on it. Yeah, I thought Terry would like that one, but... You like it? Well, there you go. You like it. Terry likes it. You two are the same people. Oh my god, that's too heavy for me to pick up. But I love these details around yeah. here. That's really pretty, though. It'd look nice from underneath, would it? What do you reckon? Mm, do you want yeah. me to lift it up? No, it's not right. It's not right. I'm okay. Find mirrors as well. This is one of these becons where it was. I don't want to be rude, but there's a lot of rubbish in here. But occasionally you do stumble across something quite good. So uh, we did drag Rob along, but... Um... Lost in translation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go and find him. We're obviously going through the bargain box. Look at this. <laughs> Cal's been caught out being a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> Your pom poms. I like them. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Now oh, there's Rob. We found him. Yeah, I was We found you a couple of pom poms. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh. You could have swing them all day. <laughs> Can't you let Rob have one of them? Not in him, I'm not. No, I won't bring something. <laughs> Like they said in the movie Gypsy, you gotta have a gimmick. That's nice, though. Yeah, this is nice. I swear we've seen this on show things at the Banyuls Antique. Oh, yes. That we went to yes. Weeks back. Yeah, I know. So I recognise quite a few things in here. For instance, over there is a very nice. Rob? No? Hello. Or, uh... <laughs> yeah, very nice Rob. No, a very nice. Let me squeeze through. Oh, look. Back. Oh, this. I swear I saw this there. Uh, do you know what? Same. Now I've seen that. It's probably half the price compared to when it was at Banyuls. Yeah, I mean, that is really nice. 145. Okay. I'm just getting these tassels to take back to England because they were just a little bit different. <laughs> That's the only reason you're buying them because they're different. <laughs> no, I like this mirror thing. Well, if it's a little bit different, do you want to take that back to England? You're, you're a bit different. I'm taking you back. You are taking me back, darling. 220 for that. What do you think of this, Rob? Do you like this? It's just a bit different. Hmm. Mm, no. <laughs> that means no. When someone it's says, okay. hmm. I have a unique taste all of my own. <laughs> you certainly do. Yeah, see so these, look. They were at the antique fair in Banyol. They were. They were stood yes. up. And then, then the ones that Bethany went up to. Yes. Yeah. But I've just spotted this. Look. We have a baton here. And they are 860 euros. What do you think? I never think. Of this. Mm, too small. Well, you're talking about the hallway, too small. I am. 
but if you look at the swirly details on the arms. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I don't mind this like that, but and too small. The crystal's quite different. I don't see where, for me, you get much over what you've already got up there. Nice crystals. So the time has come, you're going to do Rob's chair then. It's not Bob's chair, it's my chair. Yeah, well, it's raining outside, so I can't do the, the coach house doors. <laughs> so I've got an hour spare. And I thought I'd do a nice job since it's a Sunday. Yeah, why not? It's a shame that you couldn't finish the uh, doors uh, on the um, coach house. I was looking forward to seeing that, maybe but later, maybe later. it's, it's supposed to come out later, yes. Well, you do that. I'm actually going to now start putting your sconces in as this morning you've painted all the blue walls. Oh my goodness, I've been up there all for like six hours, like, like up and down those ladders. My feet hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. So I'm just starting to do the, uh, well, the switch there. Um, but as you can see now, all painted up. It's not finished. I know it's not. Finish, yeah, because we haven't got a chandelier yet. <laughs> uh, oh, one light of switch I've already put in. And as I said, I'm just now just going to work my way along the sconces and I'll show you all shortly. Well, in about six hours, you just look like you've had a brainwave. Lost the plot. <laughs> Not enough caffeine. I didn't put the primer on. Oh dear. Good job, you've literally just done two strokes of paint on there. I know. Idiot. Can I ask, does that mean you have to rub that off or can you? No, I'm just going to blend it in. Ah, well, there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. So this is Carol's, well, I can only, Pandora's box. It's my paint cupboard. <laughs> it's more than oh, that. The one I want is right up there, so I'm going to have to ask you to get it for me, please. I can't, I've got a phone in my hand. I can't stand on the chair, it's got wet paint <laughs> on it. <laughs> There's a bit of a difference. I don't know why they call it shaded white, because it's not really a shade of white, is it? It's cream. It's green. It's oh, got green in it. Well, sh uh, sh shade then, of green. They do come up with some funny shade, come funny names, like elephant's breath and <laughs> things like that. <laughs> what make is this again? Farrow and Bull. Ah. Oh. Well, it's my cheap equivalent of, it's been mixed up for Farrow and Bull. Right. Those two doors are done then. But incredibly enough, <clears throat> we've done this whole of the front of the coach house in two coats and I'm still on the first tin. Cool, there's value for money. That's two and a half litre tin. Can I show what paint you've actually mixed it to be Farrow and Ball? Well, it's Johnstone's water-based water -based satin and it's for outside, this one. Okay. But that's how much is left that's so, enough to do the two coats one tin is plenty did the whole of the frontage even the dove um even the dove coot whatever you want to call it oh we and, did that last year yes and no there are no doves in that apparently you have to entice them in you have to keep them trap them in for a few days and that's just cruel if they want to go in there they go in there won't they Probably another crows or whatever that is that are floating around here and there. But okay, today's the day. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut the lawn, but it is so wet. Even though it's a dry day, it's absolutely the dew is unreal. So I go and do a few jobs inside. Gardener's away, so uh, it's down to me. So lawn's cut. Another job, which, oh dear, has to be done, I'm afraid. And including, as he walks. All the other two along there and around the chateau. Tomorrow it's back inside. Oh, oh, and Carol's finished the doors. Oh, what a difference that's made. I can see that from here. Really ties it all in nicely now. Let's go and see where Carol is. Well, someone's glowing in the corner over there. Hello. <laughs> so final coat? No, no, first coat. Two coats of the dark blue or not? Maybe you thought after you'd done it, it didn't need it, or 
Maybe I'll have to watch YouTube and find out. <laughs> All the information's on YouTube. <laughs> Oh. Somebody let me know how many coats did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Answers on a postcard. <laughs> I'm just going to show a sneak preview, a little preview, but I'm just going to do a, show, a sneaky oh, oh, yeah. the of, lights. of the hallway. So we've managed to get the underlay up so that now it's uh, showing the parquet as it should be. Lights are finished. Walls are painted. Mm. But walls only painted one side, they're not painted the other side. There's still an awful lot of white and cream to paint on, but it's it's a very, very long, tedious job. Well, pull your finger out. Well, you and I've done my bit. I was up at eight painting garage doors, but you, you can show them then. No, I showed you painting them actually. So, okay, let's sort of pan round and da da da. So there we have it, with the flooring revealed. Lights with lamps, with light shades, <laughs> petty shades on the walls. Um, better make sure they work actually, since we've done that. Hey! Oh, that's very golden, isn't it? It matches my horse, that was the whole idea. Wow, do you know what? What you need now is a nice chandelier. But that's a sore subject at the moment. We'll have to uh, maybe have a second look at that one we saw with Terry, but they really need to move on the price big time. But yeah, well done, darling, actually. I can now see clearly and on my camera your cream trims, your warm trims compared to the white. Yes, I said bear with me, didn't I? You did, and you were right. They look fun. Fantastic. So yeah, good job on that, but still more to do in here. So this is not the finish, but we just thought you deserve to see at least the image that Carol had with those lights. Oh, there you are. Oh, I spy. What are you up to? I'm looking at the pairs. Okay, nice pair. I was just checking for um, hornet's nests because two years ago we had the most incredible sculpted hornet's nest you've ever seen. If you haven't seen it on YouTube before, I put a photo on Instagram about two years ago, maybe a bit later in the year. But there's nothing visible there at the moment, which is great. Someone to... did say they never come back to the same place twice. Did you hear that or did I dream that? <laughs> I can't remember that far back, I don't know. No, no I also good need point. to get a good bag, point. a paper bag, and collect all of these marigold seeds for next year. Right. There's a mass amount of that. I wanted to show you something really exciting. <laughs> you found treasure. No. <laughs> Let me, I just need to cut this. If you go underneath here. Go underneath here. I just need to cut this cucumber off before it Oh turns. my word, that makes your eyes water. <laughs> wow. There's another one there, and there's another one dangling down there, but that's gone a bit out of hand, I reckon. But there's there's loads coming here. Now, there I is. that we only had three, and we had 30 last year. But it's like a late crop for some reason. It's going well now. Yeah, now it is. Such a bad summer. Yeah. The runner beans, look. They're halfway up the poles, some of them. Wish I knew what I was looking at, but I'm guessing it's by the red... Uh, Yep. Watering can. <laughs> this is what I'm really, really excited about. <laughs> we had a mysterious plant pop up and we weren't sure whether it was marrow or courgette or another cucumber. Oh, yes. You thought your friend had actually secretly planted it without telling you. This is one plant that starts here and it's going across the whole bed, but look what I found. <laughs> All these little melons. Look. Where's this? Show me. Oh, wow. There's one there, one there. There's a bigger one over here, look. So they're the cantaloupe melons, I think, looking at them. If they are, they're the ones that I said were really nice. No. And people couldn't believe I'd never had them before. So I'm going to have to ask somebody to look after that when we're not here, because I'm really excited about that. I've never grown melons ever before. Just the two you found so far? No, one, two, three, four. No, there's lots of them. Oh, wow. Okay. All over it. 
and that made you really excited. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Anything else? Rhubarb. Oh, rhubarb's gone a bit mad. Yeah, gone a bit mad. Yeah, there's lots Gee. of raspberries that we've been picking. No strawberries? No strawberries, darling. You can have some okay. raspberries on your breakfast, so if you want. Joe, you know, the best thing for raspberries is on Eaton Mess, mm. which you haven't made for a while, have you? No. That was a that was a hint. You didn't really quite get that one, did you? No. <laughs> right. I'm really well, pleased with that. we've enjoyed the sunshine outside today, but I'm afraid it's back to work tomorrow. Mm. That looks a bit worse for wear. Well, you know, I was saying about the caterpillars attacking all the box hedging, which I'll show you in a minute. They've run out of box hedging because they're all stripped, and I found them on here. So this is what they look like. Little oh, you... buggers. Yeah, right. He's the one that's has been eating all the boxes. Ooh, it's not just one of them. No, I'm There's sure. Millions of them, but that's that is the caterpillar that stripped the box hedges, and I'll show you what they look like now. Totally destroyed the garden. So that's a common problem over here, but did you say it's the same problem in England? Yep, they had it at our neighbour's house as well. But oh crumbs. Come this way. Cool, grass looks nice, darling. It does, well done. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you how bad. The hedging work. Oh, the box hedge, yeah. Send them a bill. So this is what happened overnight. I looked out the kitchen window and totally brown. From overnight, they did that. Wow. As Zach would say, hungry caterpillar. It's eaten every single box hedge down here in the secret garden. Could it come back or you're not sure? That would mean cutting them all back. Yeah. That is a humongous job. Oh dear. And I don't know what time of year. But they've left, they've left the area now. They've moved on. <laughs> to the next hedge. <laughs> So I apologise if the videos have gone downhill. I'm not at home at the moment. I am on a trip in the Lake District. on our first hike. It's just stopped raining, so we're taking advantage of it. We're going to, if anyone's watched The Witcher, it's the cave that they filmed at. I'm not actually sure when, in which season either, but it was a place of filming that they did. So we're gonna go see what that looks like. We made it. finally got some sunshine and we've done a walk down this really nice river so if you ever are in England and you fancy coming somewhere like the Lake District this is my first time here um, but I really would recommend it it's lots of walking lots of gorgeous scenery like you can see behind me 
and yeah it's just really nice it's it's quite a trek for us to get here it probably took me i think it's five hour drive from home to get up here and there's lots of hotels but mainly people tend to just camp but highly recommend i also forgot to mention all of these walls that you see pretty much everywhere around the lake district they're all incredibly old but they are preserved by the national trust so a lot of money goes into keeping these walls as they are because they're really pretty, you wouldn't see anything like this down south really.